Hello, and welcome to our Thursday night product webinar. We all know that Xanthomist is the star of the foundational health pack, but a key role is also played by our doctor formulated 10X Pure multivitamin and mineral supplement. Stay tuned as our global marketing advisor, David D'Arcangelo, interviews Dr. Robin Sika, a member of our medical advisory board, as they discuss this incredible product. Hi, everybody. This is David D'Arcangelo, global marketing director, CTFO. I have one of my favorite people who is a member of our scientific advisory board, is the doctor behind the doctor formulated in our 10X Pure multivitamin and mineral supplement, Dr. Robin Sika. How are you doing, doctor? I'm doing great. Thanks. The last 36 years in practice, you know, I've been so on it about you have to use this brand or this, you know, this form because otherwise, you know, you're not going to get the result. You're not going to get the result if you're not using quality controlled products, right. you know. So, so let's talk about a few that, uh, for your immune system, you know, you, you wanted vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, correct? Correct. And and, and and then we started there and then your cardiovascular system and your thyroid gland, we use selenium. And I know you have your favorites, but let's just talk about maybe one of mine, one of your, you know, cellular energy production, you know, which I believe is life itself, you know, it's, is, you know, you wanted vitamin B vitamins, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin. Give me, give us people a little background of what's important here. So the first thing I'm going to go is back to the first bullet point, because yep. A, B, and D are really, really important. The other one is zinc. And there is zinc in this, in the multi uh, mineral, yep. uh, multivitamin right. mineral. Um, because I, I mean, I've been sat like a broke, sounding like a broken record the last two years to oh, all yeah. my patients, make sure you have adequate DC and zinc and, you know, and A, you've got to have enough of that. And as a result, you know, my patients and most of my patients are chronic have chronic illnesses or have poor immune function. And um, honestly, if anybody's gotten sick, it's been pretty mild. So, you know, it's, it's been Great. remarkable. Yeah. My practice has stayed healthy, you know, in the last two years. Great. Um, and, and it's really, you know, vitamin A probably, I don't know, I can't remember the exact amount within the multivitamin, but like the yeah. C, I tell people to supplement extra just because, you know, you need extra. And if you get sick, you definitely want to take like a lot of vitamin C, like even a thousand milligrams every hour. Uh, vitamin D, I actually have people measure blood levels because I want that blood level between 50 and hundred. There's over um, 10,000 studies on the health benefits of vitamin D. It's all on, um, on no, not on PubMed. In fact, yeah. most nutritional literature is not on PubMed. It's not in the medical literature. It's in the scientific literature, which is a much bigger body of, of science. Right. The scientific literature. PubMed is just the medical literature. Right. Um, and so you miss a lot of these studies, but there's a great site called um, Vitamin D Council that mm -hmm. has compiled all the studies on vitamin D and the benefits. Mm -hmm. and the, the ideal range is 50 to 100. Um, my, I use quest lab, which is, you know, national, um, sure. and their reference range is 30 to, um, 30 to hundred, but you really want to be up in the upper end of that. So it's a good idea to get your levels checked. And if people don't have access to a doctor like me that will order those labs, there are, um, you know, life extension will order them or, um, uh, what's yeah. it direct health labs. There's a bunch of different places that you can go that you can, you can get your order, your own labs, um, and get that vitamin D level because there's literally dozens of studies from going way back in the beginning of 2020, where they were tracking hospitalized patients who are very ill, uh, with infections and, um, and all of them, all of the patients who were hospitalized or on a ventilator in the ICU, had a vitamin D level below 30. Wow. Every, every, everybody, everybody listening, just, just the, the wealth of knowledge, Dr. C guys, just, I love the conversations with you. Um, just these, this, these solutions that Dr. Sika formulated in the doctor behind the, the multivitamin you get with the 10 X pure delivery. So everything you're, you're talking about, it is it, critical. Take me to take me to selenium. Well, selenium is a, a you know an essential cofactor in a bunch of different um, detox pathways, and it's an antioxidant. It's really important for um, with iodine for thyroid hormone production, and that's thyroid disease is 
practically epidemic these days. And having a low thyroid actually also affects um, your immune system. People that people that have hypothyroidism, if it's not treated properly or it's not diagnosed or recognized properly, tend to have more infections, tend to have more, um, you know, get, get sick, all the colds and flus and things all the time. Um, and they also develop more heart disease, more cancer, et cetera, because their immune system is not as strong. So selenium is another one that's really, really important in there because of the thyroid. Um, and, you know, and for cardiovascular health as well, for preventing aneurysms and things like that. Now, I know, I know on cellular energy, I mean, we have a lot of these different ingredients, but, but pick, out a, pick out a few. Why is cellular energy so important? Well, the mitochondria in your cell is like your, the motor of your body, you know, the little tiny motors that are running and producing energy. And if you don't have energy, nothing gets done. Your immune system requires a ton of energy, your digestion, your, your brain requires a lot, a lot of energy to function. Um, your heart muscle needs a lot of, of energy. You know, there's tons of mitochondria in the heart muscle. Um, and, and, many of these B vitamins are actually the cofactors that run that mechanism in the mitochondria. So if you're deficient in those, you're going to tend to run low on energy and that's going to have impact throughout, throughout every system in your body. And, and that, and that's where people go is like, if you're, if you're tired later in the day and, or earlier in the day or early evening, or, or you, you just find yourself as you age, not having that energy. It, it, it isn't that one of the, the, possible or potential challenges is the, they're not getting the right ingredients into their cells so that the mitochondria can have the nutrients to produce the energy that it needs to produce. Correct. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, just for instance, B12, B12 is one of the hardest, hardest, um, nutrients for the body to be able to absorb. It's kind of a really complicated mechanism. And as you get older and your body produces less stomach acid, you, you absorb that much less. So one of the first things, if I have somebody coming in with fatigue, B12 and folic acid are the first, you know, in the first set of blood tests that I do to assess that, yeah. uh, what's going on. And oftentimes I find just a low B12 level and given, given more B12, um, or giving it in a different form, like sometimes yeah. People have to do it by injection because they don't absorb out of their intestinal tract. Um, but you know, that's, it's really, that's really critical. And I want to make a point about the folic acid because the form that is in, and I, you and I talked about that yeah. a lot, <laughs> the form of the, of folic acid that is in, um, methylfolate, if I remember correctly, methylfolate, because over 40% of the population have a genetic, um, variant, um, called MTHFR. Um, and that means that they can't, they have a harder time methylating folate and B12 to be able to utilize that in their, you know, in the, in various areas in biochemistry. And that affects, uh, homocysteine levels, which is a, is a, uh, potent, um, cardiac risk factor if your homocysteine is high. So if you're not getting the right kind of folic acid and you're prone to that, you can, you could have a high homocysteine that damages your heart and your blood vessels. Um, also, it's really important in terms of metabolism of neurotransmitters, as well as, as uh, um, steroid hormones. So imbalances in steroid hormones and imbalances in, you know, neurotransmitters, anxiety, depression, all those kinds of things can be, um, can be affected if you're, yeah, and you might be taking a, a, multi, a multivitamin that has folic acid in it, but it's not the right form. And then those systems can't work if you're not getting that methylfolate. I, I have, I have to tell you, Dr. Sika, that this is the most potent and powerful conversation interview you and I have ever had. You're so succinct today. And I, I just want to tell you, we haven't done this in a while. It, it's, it's a pleasure. The people listening, watching, when you, when you think about that, that vitamin, the multivitamin you formulated, the, that there, this is what you're taking is what you're talking about. This is not a theory. This is like from years of experience and this product is available and you are, are taking it, hopefully, if you're watching and if you're not, you should get it. So I just, uh, can we uh, jump a little bit L-theanine? One of my, one of my favorites, I like to combine it with coffee because it takes kind of the, it, it, it modulates the, my, my caffeine. 
traffic buzz. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not sure that has any health benefits, but it, it that's what it, that's what it does to you. But it feels good. <laughs> I mean, I think everybody, you know, it's I, I talk about this all the time because people people come in to see me and everyone's got their story of the of what happened to them in the last two years and how stressful it was. So anything we can do, the theanine, the ashwagandha that's in the um I'm sorry, I'm blocking on the the uh protein. The, the CTFO's protein powder, I'm blocking on the name oh, of it. Oh, it's the, uh, yeah, it's the, the, the ultimate shake. Is that the ultimate, one? That, the, yeah, the ultimate shake. That has ashwagandha, you know, so theanine yeah. and ashwagandha really calm down your nervous system and calm down um, that overproduction of uh, adrenal hormones um, when you're under stress. So it's really important because it allows you to function in, in this kind of crazy environment that we're all, you know, just trying to pivot and deal with the best that we can, you know? So, so we, we, what, what happens is if you're lacking, right. And you have stress and you're bad eating and, and, you know, your lack of sleep. I mean, all these things make just compound it correctly and make it worse. Oh, absolutely. That's why I like to go back to that. You know, what I call the threshold phenomenon that if you're not, if you're not dealing with the foundation of, you know, diet, lifestyle, basic nutrition, and then looking at how your body's being affected by different things. You know, it's very easy. A lot of people just got stressed out and started stress eating all kinds of, you know, yeah. foods that are, you know, not the healthiest, um, gain some weight and all of that stuff just puts an additional strain, uh, strain on your body. Um, a statistic I've been mentioning a lot lately is that, uh, for every pound of weight that you gain, your heart has to pump another mile of blood vessels. Wow. So think about the people that have the COVID 20 or whatever that they picked yeah. up. Along yeah. the way. It's time to lose that because it really is affecting your, you know, your yeah. more than just, you know, how you, how you look in clothes. It affects your heart. It affects everything. So, so I, I just put another page up and I, and we can, we can bop around a little bit here, but we've talked about the B12 a little bit um, brain function, you know, vitamin D3, a little bit, magnesium, calcium. Uh, one of my favorites is vitamin K. It's one of mm -hmm. my fa favorite nutrients. And I think that it's one of yours as well. And maybe it became mine because you told me about it so much that it was so compelling. So can, can you tell us a little bit about vitamin K and maybe touch on a few of the others? Well, vitamin K is really a fascinating, fascinating nutrient because it's like nobody's ever heard of it or until recently, nobody ever heard of it. But there's, again, tons and tons of studies on it. It, it takes calcium where, where it shouldn't be and puts it where it should be. So if you have calcium in the lining of your arteries, it'll take it out of there and put it into your bone where it should be. Right. You know, if you have metastatic calcium, like I've seen people that have like really bad arthritis in their fingers where they have swelling in the joints, you know, what the calcified right. swelling in the joints, it takes a long time and it doesn't happen quickly, but it'll start to, to move that calcium out of the arthritic joint and into the bone. Wow. Amazing. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's been called the life extension, um, vitamin actually. Wow. So it's, yeah, it's a pretty powerful uh, vitamin. And again, it's, you know, a lot of people take vitamin D and don't realize they need to take the vitamin K with it to get the bone, the calcium to go the right place. Um, and you, you, you need the whole, the whole form of vitamin K, not just K1 or K2. You need all of them. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I was, when I, when I did the research early on back in uh, when we formulated the vitamin, I, I would read about vitamin K and K1, K2, and I like, it, it, it had all kinds of benefits, vitamin K, people apply it to their skin to remove spider. I was bruises, scars, stretch marks. And I was just like, it just, I'm constantly amazed at your body and, and how it adapts, how it relates to different ingredients like this. I, I was, uh, I was biking uh, one time a month or two ago and I, I fell and scraped my whole arm and it was just raw. And, and a week later, uh, it was healed. It, it, and just to me, it was just like, that's just like, that's, a, that's the miracle of life. It, if, you, if you're providing your body with the proper nutrients so that it can perform, it's like a car. If you beat up your car and you don't take care of it, it's, it's not going to perform when you need it. And 
So I just, uh, I, vitamin K, et cetera, you remind me of that story and, uh, and you see it every day in patients. Well, I think it's really true. And I always say, I, I never cure anything. I just help set up the right, the right um, conditions so that the body will heal itself because the body does the healing. Yeah. The bo- yeah. Body does the healing. You have to set the, you know, you have to fuel it correctly. Like your mitochondria for energy, you've got the, all the different nutrients in here. So if you're, if you're lacking the nutrients, you can't perform at the highest level. Right. right. Exactly. So, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to see if you agree with this statement. It's not the cost of a bottle of vitamins that matters. More importantly, it's the amount of nutrients that enter your bloodstream for delivery to the target area that makes all the difference in the world. Right or wrong? Absolutely correct. Yeah. And so that when it, you take the vitamins, it goes into your stomach, it get it, it gets, it dissolves and it goes through your, gets into your bloodstream, correct? And how, how it, can you just describe that process a little bit for people so they understand? So there's a lot of barriers that, that those, vi- those nutrients have to cross to get right. to where it's going. Okay. Yeah, right. We just think about it, you know, it's in the small intestine that most of these nutrients get absorbed. So it's got to get across that barrier. That's a barrier to the outside, like your skin. It's no different. It's right. so the body's kind of guarding and, and it has to pick up like minerals, for instance, have to be pumped across by active transport. Okay. Yep. To, to get across the one, the, the nice thing about 10 X pure is that it's actually easier to get a fat soluble substance across the intestinal barrier than it is some, you know, some of the water soluble things like B12 or minerals, you know, are actually harder. So that's going to aid that process. The body's got to pick it up and exert energy literally to pump it across that, that barrier and into the, into the bloodstream. And then of course the heart's pumping all the time to pump your blood around to deliver it to each one of your tissues throughout your whole body. And then it's got to go through the blood vessel lining. It's going to go the cell across the cell membrane, which is another barrier. So a lipid bilayer. So it's got to get across two layers of lipid (laughs) to get into the cell. And then if it's got to get in the mitochondria, there's a mitochondrial cell membrane also, or mitochondrial membrane that it has to cross. Well, to, no, no matter, but before, before this vitamin, I used to take, I'd go to the warehouse club and I'd get the cheap vitamin. No wonder, no wonder I never, I felt anything. And when, I, when you formulated this vitamin, it, we all got started taking it. We just like, huh? oh, you, everybody feels better. They feel better. You know, they have the energy, they have some focus, have some, con- but you know, you just function better. And, um, in that story you just told, you were so adamant about make sure that we have chelated minerals. Was mm-hmm. that, is, is that the reason that, so that they get your body gets to use them and really they really seize the benefit? Absolutely. If you if you like look at magnesium oxide, magnesium oxide is fine if you're constipated. It's going to help with that because it doesn't get absorbed. It's just going to flip. <laughs> that's not a, it's just magnesium and oxygen and it's a very small molecule okay and it doesn't get absorbed it maybe only five percent absorbed okay so you're taking and most vitamins if you look at most multivitamins they cheap out and they go with magnesium oxide and calcium carbonate you're not going to get any of that absorbed or very little of it yeah. when you when you attach a bigger molecule, like an amino acid or an organic acid to this tiny little mineral. Now you've made that, that more accessible to the body to latch onto. And then by active transport, bring it across the intestinal uh, barrier. Okay. The body can, can grab onto it easier. It's like, it's got a handle. It can grab it and pull it in way better when they're chelated. Oh, wow. It's just, it's just, it's just, people don't understand is that taking a vitamin doesn't mean you get the vitamin, you get the benefits. It's just what you're describing is that there's, there's a war going on down there. And unless you have to stand a chance, you have to have very specific nutrients in a very specific form. Correct. Right. Right. Okay. If you do 
like I like to say to people and the, the line I put up at the bottom is you just when you have everything right and the right nutrients at the right times, you've never allowed yourself to feel this good ever. So Dr. Sika, I just, uh, I really, really appreciate you. And I want people to know we've done this before on a recording. It's on a video on the website, send your clients there, send, send your, your customers there, send everybody there. But Dr. Sika is there. We've, we've did a professionally recorded video um, and it goes through a lot of what we went through today. I love today's interview. I'm going to, I am going to read, uh, get a, copies of this one. And this one will be up in the, the company's website. It's just amazing that we have you on our scientific advisory board. You're the most knowledgeable, the best in your field. Well, thank you again. And uh, for those of you out there, you know, you see at the bottom of the screen, uh, we just instituted one of the best smart ship programs in the industry. It's how you get the biggest discount on the product and get the product delivered on a regular basis. So what I always like to say, Dr. Seeker is smart shoppers, always smart ship to get the best value for their money. So thank you, Dr. Seeker and everybody. We really appreciate Dr. Seeker. She's been, she's a gem and we're happy to, to have her on the team. So good night, everybody.